Hello and welcome. My name is David Oisamoji. Welcome to another T-shirt design tutorial. Yes, my channel is all about creating designs that sell, designs that make you passive income. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe and make sure you stick around to the end of this video. I'm not going to waste your time with this one. I'm going to go straight right into this one for you guys. So please don't click off. Make sure you watch to the very end. I'm going to show you how to also get Canva Pro free. Yes, you heard me right. Canva Pro. If you're serious about print on demand, you need Canva Pro free for me for 30 days. You will get that. So let's get straight right into it. I'm going to open canva.com for this one. So we're going to go to canva.com and let's get cracking. So yes, it's loading. I'm just going to wait for it to load. For this one, it's going to be a simple design. It's not going to be complicated. Yes, you heard me right. If you've never used canva.com, this is your first time. Yes, this is a Canva tutorial kind of. So I'm going to be creating a design with Canva, which is going to be used on our t-shirt mug, print on demand in general to create our design. So let's hit on create a design, constant dimension. Standard is 4500 by 5400. Yes, save that. If you're just joining for the first time, that is the standard. So let's hit create a design. It's going to open on a new tab. And we're going to go straight right into it we're going to go straight right into it so we're going to be doing that for ourselves going to be creating for ourselves so join me as i do that so to get started we're just going to go to elements and we're just going to search for okay let me do ghosts Just gonna do ghost okay so we're just gonna click on this one click on that one so we're gonna use this one or let's pick something more fun let's pick something more fun we can use well, we can use this one. We can use this one. Let's just change the eye color. I don't want that eye color. I want it more, let's say, more purple like and the yellow. I want it more. Okay, let's see. Let's see how blue looks. Okay, let's see blue with a red eyes. How would that look? Okay, this looks cool. This looks cool to me. So now that we have that, just make sure you increase that uh, bit. Just increase that uh, bit. So to do that, we we'll click on it and then we we'll just increase it a bit. We're not done yet, so don't click off. I'm going to show you how to make this more unique. So let's go to text. Let's go to text and we're going to find a fancy with text we can use. Going to find a fancy with text. So yes, we can use this. So I'm just going to click on this. As you can see. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger or not a little bit bigger. Let's make it bigger. So we move your cursor to one of these circular edges. Move your cursor to that edge. Press on your left mouse click button and just drag outward like so. You double tap. Control A. To highlight all and we'll do boom. Okay. Let's do boom just like so so now we can increase this okay and do the yes something like that so now we have that and you can see we have this other baby tailor fine we don't want that so we're gonna click on on group layer click out click on this and delete that we don't need that all we need is a boom okay so you see we got the boom just like the way we want it to be we can decide to duplicate this to create a shadow so to do that press your alter key button your left mouse click button and just drag downwards and now you change that color to let's say a blue okay like so so you see we've created that drop down shadow we can just move that we can just move that a bit to the top so we create that crazy effect we want in our design just like so 
okay okay so we created that crazy effect as you can see it says boom so now that we have that we have our design you can decide to make the eyes black since we have a black drop down shadow okay like so so now you can see how simple it is to create this for ourselves now we can just go over and save this remember to get canva pro remember to get canva pro for yourself sorry about that sorry about the delay to get canva pro for yourself there's a first link in the description make sure you check that link make sure you check that link for yourself click on that link make sure as the link is open opening on a new tab or a new window as the case may be make sure you click on sign up and get your details dropped for you to get canva pro yes you're not going to take your cash you're going to get canva pro free for yourself and it's going to be crazy fun so now now that that is out of the way we're going to click on download yes i'm logged into my free account as you can see but definitely if you've seen the thumbnail of this video you already know i got rid of the white background but to do that as you can see if i try to do that now it's going to tell me to get canva pro i already have that if you watch my previous videos you know i already have that for myself but if you don't have that for yourself make sure you check the first link in the description to get that as for me i'm just going to hit the download button for for this aspect but if you're serious about print on demand you always want to get canva pro for yourself yes you heard me right you want to get canva pro for yourself so they can get rid of this white background like i'm going to show you now it's going to come with the white background when in video thumbnail you already saw it did not have the white background as you're seeing here so you can see there was no white background there's a white background here but in my thumbnail there's no white background so you see i've done that for myself already so already i have that done for myself so i advise you to do same if you're serious you do same for yourself so that you can get rid of the white background and you can see it didn't take us a lot of time you can just go back go to element just choose from any of these ones you can decide to just use this one for your design you can decide to use this instead get the drill your design can be in form of any which way you want it to be you can decide to be in any which way you can get rid of this one under so you have this boom you can just make it bigger okay like so you can make it bigger than this one you can make it also bigger like so okay Click on this to make it bigger. Get the drill. So now you drag this over this one to give you that effect. Okay. So now you have that effect for yourself. You can just go over and save that again. Save that for yourself. You know, prepare your download your download is ready for you to do and you see you have that if you go over again you can see it for yourself i always like to cross check my designs because sometimes it might get an error while saving so i always like to do this for myself as you can see this is quite fun it was super easy to create it didn't take me a lot of time it just took me about nine minutes to get this done for myself and i'm good to go so that's how you do it so if you want canva pro for yourself make sure check the first link in the description to get canva pro for yourself if you've not gotten that already and create as much design as you can and now when you're done creating your design you cannot then upload it to redbubble t public t spring match by amazon and a host of sites for yourself simple not complicated super easy to get this done create much design yes you had me write much design for yourself upload it to all the side and you start making passive income in no time but you have to be patient so without said i'm going to see you on the next video stay blessed one love